Good morning. Morning. Good morning from the towpath on the Stratford Canal in Maud. Just before Preston Baggett bottom locks, we've got quite a. Today's a day of locks. Hopefully not 16. I haven't actually counted, but we're going to go to Kingswood Junction. We're probably going to moor up at Kingswood. So a day of locks towards Kingswood Junction. Hi, I'm Malik, and this is my girlfriend Katrina, and we both live full time on our 60 foot narrowboat home called. Narrowboat Pura Vida. We invite you to join us as we cruise along the UK's river and canal networks. And if you enjoy our videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. First lock of the day and it's set in our favour as well, happy days. What a lovely morning this morning, the weather is gorgeous. And here comes the skip skip bringing Pura Vida into the lock. Oh it's bright. <laughs> Canal is just so picturesque. Honestly, I just want to film every single second. I'm not going to, but I want to. <laughs> just waiting for Skip Skip to come into this lock. It's all set ready for her. This is the second lock of the day, and um, we've got quite a few more ahead of us. It's alright, it's a nice day for it. I think this is lock number four. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is lock number four. Skip Skips is coming up through, and I see there's another lock just ahead. <laughs> I've been on the boat all about five minutes so far today. Well, this is lock number five of today. Check this out, this is an absolutely gorgeous lock. As soon as you come through the lock, it's across the aqueduct, which goes over more water, over a little stream. That's quite cool. That's very cool. Yeah. 
this is lock number six of the day skip skips just going up and then it looks like there's a bit of a gap where there's no locks so i get i get to go on board the boat i get a ride on the boat yeah, about five minutes. And um, we're just leaving that lock. That's the sixth lock of the day. We've been cruising for about an hour and a half. And in that time we've done six locks. And about half a mile. And about half a mile. So the skip skip says. Wow. But we're lock free for a bit, for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to have a little drive. Katrina's going to have a little rest. And then I think we've got another six or so locks up to Kingswood. We might have stopped for lunch maybe, who knows. The weather is incredible. It's amazing, absolutely love it. And the scenery around here is also just so beautiful. It's so picturesque. I said it right that time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was less than 10 minutes, but I can see a lock. So, uh, <clears throat> buddy, I've had four biscuits. Uh, I've had just enough time to eat four biscuits. Four? Four biscuits. That's how long the, the gap between the locks is. We said you could have four biscuits. We measure, we measure the gap between locks and biscuits consumed. That's another lock done. It's just coming up to two o'clock. Saw the engine out there. So we're going to find somewhere to stop for lunch. I think there's some, uh, some facilities coming up soon as well, so we can drop off some of our rubbish. Some of it, all of it. Shall I throw away the skip skip as well? Facilities. There's water, but we don't need that. But we do need rubbish. I mean, we don't need rubbish, we've got enough of our own. We found some boaters' facilities just before Bridge 41, so we're going to stop here, drop off the rubbish. Uh, there's water here, but I don't think we necessarily need to top up, so we probably won't bother. We'll drop off the rubbish, grab a quick bite to eat whilst we're here, whilst we've stopped. And I can see just under the bridge. Is another lock. Another lock. We're all lunched up. Cheese on toast. Yummy, yummy. And um, various snacky bits. Yeah, I'm still munching. Katrina's still munching. I'm still drinking. <laughs> but we're going to start heading off now. We've just counted. We've only got. Um, Ten. Ten more locks to go. We've done about seven so far today. Mm. I think this is going to be our heaviest day of locks. But um, we're going to start the engine. I'm going to hop off and go and set that lock. <laughs> and let's get cruising! That's hell of a tight lock, that one. She was scraping both sides to get in. The camera was resting on the gate, that's probably why it was a bit wobbly. And I nearly cut my head off. And she nearly cut her head off on the low bridge going in. This canal stuff is incredibly dodgy. popular today. A nice sunny Sunday afternoon. And here we are, cruising our home. I do fancy the pub now. But I've got stuff to pick up, so that's why we're heading to the King. So that's two locks down, eight to go. <laughs> we're heading for Hockley Heath. 
because I got an Amazon pickup there. Exciting stuff, sort of. It's for the vlogs, so it'll make the vlogs better, I hope. So we're heading to Hockley Heath to pick that up. There's another eight more locks to the King's Norton Junction and another 20 or so <laughs> to Hockley Heath. So we're like, no, nah, no, nah, we're not doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the junction, Kingswood Junction, and then I'm going to shoot off. It'll be far quicker to walk than it is to take a boat. And I'll tell you what, we've been cruising now for what, three hours pretty much? Yeah. And we've done two miles. That's three quarters of a mile per hour for those that are wondering. That's how slow we're going because <laughs> of all the locks. So we're going to stop at Kingswood. I'm going to shoot off to the Amazon pickup and then we're going to head south down the GU, the Grand Union towards Oxford Way. Why not? Skipper's having a bit of a mooring up moment. This is you. This is you starving to death. She tried to put me in that tree. I need to get off here, so now she's fixing it. But it all went a little bit, bit wonky. So I can't see it. And apparently it's all my fault. You did that. I've been doing this for years and it's my fault. Jenny's interested in the cows drinking behind me, or behind us. They're really lush. They're really lush cows. <laughs> well, there you go. Cows are, lush. are they naked like the other ones? That we saw in the no, Avon. <laughs> we we uh, we didn't make it to Kingswood Junction. We're free lock short, but we found this lovely spot, and we thought, you know what? Let's just moor up here. We're meant to be enjoying this after all, so we're gonna moor up. That's us done for the day. We're pooped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ride off into some place, can't remember the name of it. Hockley Heath. Hockley Heath, which is about three and a half miles away and 20 locks away, so it's far easier to take the scooter than it is to take the boat. It's uphill. Pick up, all the locks. pick up the Amazon parcel. And then our next vlog, we're going to turn right at the junction, right again onto the GU, the Grand Union, and we're heading towards Oxford Way. Warwick. Yeah, there's a big flight of locks coming up. Hatton. That's the flight. one. But we're not planning to do that in the next vlog. Well, oh, we've never been. We're going places. into new territory anyway, yeah. So, brand new territory for us. Brand new territory for you guys that are following us. Um, I'm very excited, actually. Very excited. And hopefully, in the Amazon park up parcel, there's some new filming kit to help with better filming. I'm so, it's not so shaky. <laughs> I'm excited to have some more of this canal tomorrow because it is one it's, of the nicest it is. that we've been on. It's so. It is amazing. It's lovely. And the weather has just been fantastic. Yeah, let's hope for more of this tomorrow. Hope for more of this, fingers crossed, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. See you later. Here we are in our spot. We've been here five minutes or less. And look what's going on with the bees. They're in our boat. I think we have a bee's nest in our boat. This is far from ideal. Jenny, we've got bees in the boat. Well, hopefully we've just disturbed their home again and if we move, they'll stay here.
Get out, bees. Get out. Yeah. I'm just hoping there's not a nest in the boat. Well, if there is, it'll be. They seem to be completely fascinated with that corner where the mallet is. The horn in the corner. And the bees just seem to be going mad about it. There can't be a bee's nest inside. Surely. Right, where are they? Just, just give them time. So where are they coming from? Unless they're inside that box. 